Salute basketball spectator, you're on Pencil Sports Channel. Russell Westbrook has finally decided on his future and remains in Los Angeles, only now in the Clippers. So let's look at this in more detail. And so a basketball spectator, Russell Westbrook will continue his career with the Los Angeles Clippers, and this is very logical. When it became known that the Lakers had pushed him to Utah, the question of buying out the contract was only in time. The Clippers immediately began to make room in the lineup by exchanging Reggie Jackson and John Wall. They traded bonus Highland from Denver, and obviously not for the starting role, which was already intended for Westbrook back then. Russell Westbrook needed extra time before finalizing the buyout of the remainder of his expiring $47 million contract and deciding on his next team. It is reported that the former Lakers point guard discussed a deal with the Clippers, Chicago Bulls, Miami Heat, Washington Wizards. At first, it seemed that the Creepers were hesitant, but several players publicly vouched for Westbrook, and the Clippers management became more interested in bringing Russell in after several conversations with him. Westbrook is associated with the Bulls head coach and has had some success with the Wizards, but Los Angeles gives a legitimate chance to compete for the title, and there's no need to move anywhere, and he will play his home games in the same building as before. In addition, he has already played with Paul George in Oklahoma City, so there is already mutual understanding between them. Well, what exactly can the Clippers and Russell give each other? This move is sure to cause a lot of skepticism, as Westbrook's tenure at the Lakers may have been the worst of his career. However, Clippers fans certainly have reason to hope. Westbrook has some intangible qualities, such as tenacity and high motor skills, which tends to manifest itself anywhere. As I said above, he has experience performing with Paul George in Oklahoma. For the last two seasons at Thunder, Westbrook shared the court with Paul George. Although Westbrook was recognized as the MVP in the 17th year and averaged a triple-double, Paul George attracted the most attention then. In the 18-19 season, George was listed as the MVP and the best defender. So the there shouldn't be any problems. In addition, there is no doubt that Westbrook will be given the role of starting point guard. Russell is still one of the main contenders for the title of sixth player thanks to his statistics from the bench in the Lakers. Leaving him as a reserve, a point guard would have to make more shots than the starting lineup. This could lead to less effective attempts, which could hurt the Clippers in the future. If he joins George and Leonard in the starting five, he will most likely become his third option. Perhaps one of the main reasons why Westbrook should be at the start is his self-confidence. After signing a five-year, $205 million contract, he was traded four times, and it is not clear how this affected his psyche and morale. So the role of a starting player can increase his self-confidence, meet the needs of the team, and help the development of a young player in the face of Highland. Rivals will still have to worry about George and Kawa, as well as Norman Powell, Transman, and Nicholas Batum. The addition of Westbrook could allow all of these effective individual units to come together as a cohesive, deadly combat unit. The end result should be the most effective game from Westbrook this season. It's hard to remember a time when Westbrook regularly made more than 80% of free throws. Maybe he just needs a little peace of mind and feels welcome, and he can find it in the Clippers. George really vouched for Russell Westbrook, and the management decided that Russell could become the right cock, which was missing all these years for Kawi and Paul to get to the finals. However, there are some factors of Westbrook's game that are not exactly rosy, and this is his throw. He's thrown three-pointers with just over 30% career accuracy. Accuracy. In this season from the game, 42% in total. In fact, during his entire time in the NBA, Westbrook realized above 40% from the game only three times in 15 years, and now he needs to find his throw in the new team. However, the veteran needs to do it in just 20 games for the Clippers. He has a built chemistry with Paul George, despite the fact that they both did not achieve success in the playoffs for Oklahoma, but nevertheless, they can play together. Both he and Leonard allow Westbrook to take on the role of playmaker that the team has long needed, but when Westbrook will use its capabilities, it should be set up for success. And for these 20 games, the Clippers have the second most difficult schedule in the NBA, and Memphis has the seventh. It is with the Grizzlies that the Clippers should compete for second place in the West, ideally. So the Clippers should hope that Westbrook will give them the necessary momentum for the final breakthrough in the regular season. Tyrell Lue seems to enjoy the respect and trust of his players. He already has a championship ring. Leonard has two of them. This organization has all all the elements necessary for a comfortable stay at Westbrook. Time will tell whether this experiment will be an inspiring success or a further negative overshadowing Russell Westbrook itself. Nevertheless, with the arrival of Durant in Phoenix, 
the balance of power in the West, including, has changed. So now, in the future, we are waiting for a very hot playoff, which has not been for several years, but even more interesting. So, as always, you have an opinion in the comments. Do not forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Pencil Sports was with you. Good luck and bye.